Still Morning is a slight sculpture about two feet high and two feet wide by three quarters inch thick. It shows a gold leafed female mallard duck swimming out of the reeds into clear waters. The gentle undulations created by the radiating waves and cross currents make the image read visually because it reflects light and creates shadows the way water actually does. What's more is that by moving your hands across the water, the sculpture gently rocks your hands the way water rocks a boat. I'm talking about full hand contact here. Sequence. This shows larger than life rabbits in one of three phases of a bunny hop. This image is the original slate piece that I sculpted. It is 13 inches high by four feet wide and three quarters inch thick. I took a mold off of this piece and cast the background in hard plastic. I then coated the surface of the rabbit with a soft, flexible rubber and placed a 3D printed skeleton on the inside of each rabbit. This image shows the bone pattern that was created on a 3D printer. I placed the bones into position and then filled in around them with soft castable foam to hold them in place and to mimic the soft tissues. The resulting piece is only truly accessible through touch. In fact, none of my work can completely be experienced without touching them. Shadows. This piece is carved from slate and is three quarters inch thick by three feet tall and two feet wide. It shows Robin in the upper right hand corner alighting on a branch of a tree. The tree's branches fill the entire picture. A cat quietly watches from behind some branches in the lower left corner of the picture, biding his time as he waits to see what will happen next. This sculpture uses shadows to add detail to the visual composition without adding clutter to the tactile image. Mount Everest, panel four of five, Kumbu Ice Falls. This panel shows Eric Weyenmayer carefully stepping across ladders lashed together to span a 20 foot opening of a deep crevasse in the Kumbu Ice Falls. His team is near, but he is alone on the crossing. This image shows a mountaineer bundled up against the cold carrying his backpack up the mountain. He has guide ropes in each hand as he works his way across, step by step. This piece is made of slate, marble, and bronze. A Tangle of Octopi. This illustration is from Pedro and the Octopus, written by Debbie Kent and published by the American Action Fund. These illustrations are full bas-relief embossed on paper. This is an old technique used by greeting card companies for centuries. This illustration shows two octopuses with tangled arms. Each octopus has a different texture to help separate one from the other. It reads almost like a maze. 